section C, and so the essays begin. Remember, you've got three essay options, and all you do is pick two. Pick the two that you're most comfortable with, and it must follow the structure of I, B, C. In your introduction, introduce the three points, these three points here. In your body, you discuss these three points at length, and in your conclusion, just bring it all together. Keep it in essay format, and it must consist of paragraphs. So the role of media, so coverage of sport and sport personalities, it varies tremendously in the media. And media coverage of sports personalities can lead to their fame and success. It can also draw attention to some big scandals resulting in bad publicity and just the undue pressure on these individuals. Yet these same individuals may inspire young people to pursue careers in sport. So this is basically about the media coverage of sport. Um, you can give it in a South African context if you like. So use the following as a guideline. Briefly state four roles. It's not it's not a guideline. You you have to do it. It's it's not a guideline. Okay, like don't be discussing other things as a belief. Briefly state four roles of the media in promoting sports in South Africa. So we need four quick points here. Well, they just educate the public about different sports and the history of those sports as well. They can attract sponsors as well. Remember, more money in the game means greater development, greater prize money, you attract better athletes, strongest athletes, and just increased visibility as well in the public eye. And you also help with marketing ads, advertisements, all that good stuff. Okay, so that was our first bullet. Second bullet, discuss in detail how sports personalities could potentially influence young people to consider a career in sports. So again, we need four more. Discuss it in detail. These sports personalities, well, they serve as role models, firstly, for the youth, for the younguns. And they share their own unique stories and they demonstrate values like teamwork, discipline, and perseverance. So it's all about values here. They increase awareness about sports for all genders, so just awareness, especially for previously marginalized groups, like different racial groups entering sports that were previously dominated by others, or bringing more females into sports like soccer, like rugby, like cricket, and so on and so on. And we've seen that with Laura Wolfart, our ODI women's captain. She's really exploded women's cricket in South Africa as well. She's one of the world's best, and she's our captain. They act as mentors uh, through coaching clinics as well, mentor, and in doing so, they uplift the youth, guidance and support, and aspirations of success as well. So younger people, younger individuals, they see the success of these people, uh, the financial success, the fame, and that is attractive, and it's a way out of a more difficult life, which is why some of the best footballers in the world come from difficult beginnings. Lionel Messi, the little boy from Rosario, Argentina, Cristiano Ronaldo from Madeira, Portugal, they didn't have the best lives. They grew up to some degree in poverty and, well, it forces the hunger. So success and it's just attractive to younger individuals. Sorry, my writing is not all that great. Uh, and then our last bullet point here. Examine two ways in which the media could report more responsibly on alleged or suspected scandals of sports personalities. Like Hansi Cronier, The Devil Made Me Do It, Lance Armstrong on, on roids. Yeah, Kahiso Rabada doing other illegal substances. But the media, they should conduct more thorough fact-checking and verification to ensure that, well, it is real, it's the truth, and they're not spreading fake news. Uphold the principles that individuals are, you are innocent until proven guilty. So if it's just an allegation, you're innocent until proven guilty, like Yannick Sinner, uh, also another drug cheat, one of the best in the world, best tennis players in the world. Um, Alcaraz is, is right up there with him. But Sinner was taking some illegal substances and yeah, got a small ban for it. Include perspectives from all sides involved in the scandal. So, you know, every story has three sides, your side, my side, and the truth. I love that. And the fourth, uh, just being aware of the potential impact of their reporting on the lives and careers of all those involved. So just being constantly aware of the impact. Okay, some being a positive and advantageous impact, and some being very negative, a con, disadvantageous impact. So yeah, um, again, follow this IBC structure. These are the 12 points that you should have had. And remember to substantiate these a bit more, the eight markers.